that were right over here. Uh, Elon Musk went to Israel and toured uh, some of the areas in the south that were attacked by Hamas. I want to show you a quick clip of that. Into the kibbutz itself. This is the house of Bin On his way back, he noticed several terrorists that were right over here. It's a, it's a symbol in the kibbutz. You have kids inside, the mothers and the fathers run around with it. But it's holding shells, specifically of a negative, uh, that was used here in order to protect the Here's a, a little more video of uh, a mother who had her son uh, kidnapped by Hamas, uh, showing the video to, uh, to Elon. There's no audio on this one, but here she is showing the actual video, and he, there he is, he's, he's just watching it. He also watched the 47 minute, there's a 47 minute compilation video of the atrocities that, that we're, we're not even gonna show you here. I mean, the stuff literally, it is it literally happened. There are many journalists who have verified it. Elon has now seen it. Of them cutting open a pregnant woman and taking the fetus out and letting her bleed out as they showed the baby to her. I mean, things that are, if they were in the movie Saw, you would say this one is too over the top. Uh, here is Elon Musk now talking about uh, a better way to, uh, to go ahead. And, and how do you figure out what's gonna happen to Gaza in the future? It was uh, suddenly been um, a day, I would say an emotionally difficult day uh, to see the places where people were murdered. I just did a talk with the, pro the Prime Minister and um, I think there's, I mean obviously there, there, there are three things that need to happen uh, in, in the Gaza situation. I mean there's no choice but to kill those who insist on uh, murdering civilians. There's exactly. no choice. Um, they're not going to change their mind. But and then the second thing is to change the the education, so that a, a new generation of of murderers is not trained to be murderers. And then the and then the third thing, which is also very important, is to try to build prosperity. You know, it's interesting because he's right, of course. Yeah, and this is what Israel's stated goal is, right? The goal is you must kill every Hamas member. Period. And you're going to have to kill the ones that are in Qatar, too, the billionaires who are running the thing. You're going to have to kill all of them. So it was great to see some moral clarity. It was great to see someone picking a side. That was number one. Then you have to change the education system. By the way, he could be talking about America in this case, too, right? You have to change it so you don't grow generation after generation with all of the wrong ideas and who are breeding other murderers and all of those things. And then the third one, which is the most interesting one to me, is that you have to fix the economic situation. Now, the irony of that is that that's exactly what Israel tried to do when they left, right? They left them with greenhouses. They had, they left them with uh, infrastructure. The UN and all, and the WHO and all of these organization, organizations, they put billions, literally billions with a B, worth of dollars into the Gaza Strip so that they could build a fully free functioning society. And the Israelis said, we want nothing to do with you freaks. But... What did they do? They decided to build a freaking war machine. And the war machine is actually quite effective at spreading mayhem and medieval barbarity and everything else. Uh, so Elon is right about that. The problem is, this is like a chicken or the egg situation. If you still have all of these people who want the murder, want the mayhem, want to meet the 72 virgins and everything else, then what are you going to do? Uh, here's audio, uh, Elon uh, talking about how Hamas is actually anti-human. And when you have an anti-human force, there really is only one thing you can do with that. If you want peace, destroy Hamas. If you want security, destroy Hamas. If you want a better life for the Palestinians in Gaza who've been hijacked uh, by Hamas, destroy Hamas. Uh, all of that is a precursor to the question that you asked. You first have to get rid of the poisonous regime, uh, as you did in Germany, as you did in Japan yeah. uh, in World War II. These were two. There's no choice. There's no choice. Uh, so uh, that, that's this, a prerequisite. Yes. There's no choice. Isn't that interesting? It's not that hard to take a stand. It's not that hard to pick a side. There's no choice. These people are here to destroy everything that is good. They are here to kill people and murder people and kidnap people and do things that we could not have possibly imagined humans could do less than two months ago.